Well, hello. I'm here again. I feel like I just filmed this, because I did. I just filmed it over there. And I, I don't want to set up my lights again, because uh, I really screwed it up. Like, I'm all blur. Um, somebody forgot to hit the autofocus button on his camera. <laughs> and I didn't notice. So, anyway, I... Uh, want to do my first impressions of a really fun pen, this uh, Rex Pen 2002. And it, I will admit, it sat for over a year, and I just like, oh, I don't think I'm going to like it, and I never inked it up. And uh, then I did, and then I didn't write with it, but dang, it's been kind of fun lately. So let's take a look at it. All right, so as you can see, this pen arrived in a vintage case. Oh, um, and it had a little accident in the mail. Yeah, so it's crushed all over the place. So when I opened this package, I just thought, uh-oh. <laughs> so let's see what's inside. And you know what? The package did its job. It protected the pen. It lies on this nice bed of felt. And you end up with this glorious orange pen. Now, I don't care. I think that's a darn sharp looking pen. So we'll look a little closer here. This is a Rex Pen 2002. Nothing on the finial. Nothing on the finial. Nothing on the clip. Just nice, sharp looking pen. That, that's the only branding on it. Open it up. It's a screw cap. And you're left with what I'm pretty sure is a steel nib. I would be really, really shocked <laughs> if it's not a steel nib. Um, so I did experiment a little bit with, uh, cartridges and converters. So this is going to work the first time because I just, well, I'm filming a bunch of these at night. So uh, the first one I grabbed out of my grab box happened to be a F Faber Castell, which I feel like that's a luxury brand, but I don't know. I've never owned one. Uh, so I am tried to put it in, just like, not going in, not going in. And then all of a sudden, it just sort of snooks right in there. So, that went pretty well. So if we're going to use a Rex pen from uh, Croatia, uh, a good ink to put in it for a first impression might be Parker Quink Washable Blue. So I have given this pen a good clean. Oh, I see some bubbles coming out there. Good. Yeah, and the ink is coming up the converter. We'll give it another swish here. And what the heck, let's do one more for luck. Alrighty then. I'm wondering if this pen could be eyedroppered, but I personally would not. It, it does seem to be all plastic, but eh, I just don't know if I'd trust it. Don't have a good reason not to. I just don't know if I would. Does that look like a fine to you? It looks fine to me. Uh, the ink in it is Parker Quink. Washable blue. So I'm definitely feeling feedback with this. Not bad pen. This is more of a daily writer pen. And, and again, it's not, you know, your high class luxury pen with all kinds of amazing flex. And you're just like, oh, my God, I can't wait to write with this again. It's not that kind of pen, but I'm not disappointed. <laughs> that sounds like I'm damning it with faint praise. Well, you're not the worst student I ever had in this class. Thanks, Mr. Squirrel. Flex. <laughs> oh, okay. Sometimes you can say stuff like that and they think you're joking. <laughs> okay, did I say that out loud? <laughs> uh, let's see. Flex. Uh, wetness and flow. This is wetter than I actually expected it to be. Wetness. Wow. This is wetter than I expected it to be. So, uh... You know, that's pretty cool. Smear test. Yeah, 
that is actually fairly wet. Okay, one thing I think I'm noticing, I think it's possible this converter is just a teensy weensy bit too tall for the pen because it doesn't like stay perfectly screwed in. Or maybe I just didn't screw it on far enough. I don't know. We'll find out after I get used to it. Reverse writing, if you're, you know, into that kind of thing. Kind of a nasty, okay, not nasty, slightly more feedbacky, extra fine. And finally, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. You know, cheap little pen this may be. But I think it passed that test with flying colors. So uh, I look forward to uh, finding out what I think of this pen in the coming days. And we'll, uh, you know, film the talky part of this video later after I've had a chance to do exactly that. So that's my Rex Pen 2002. I don't know if that has to do with manufacture date or what that is. But uh, anyway, I been using it kind of as a not as a daily writer but but as kind of a backup daily writer and uh i kind of enjoy it also it turns out that this pen holds it holds the seal really well because I, I inked it up i did the first when did i do that i don't remember when i did the writing sample but it's been a while and uh it's held a seal very well since then so i am impressed um so I'm kind of sorry that my whole footage that was going to be filmed over there was out of focus because somebody's a dumbass and didn't even look at his previous screen. Okay, I did, but it, it's small and I just couldn't tell that it was blurry. I mean, it was blurry enough to bother me. I don't know if viewers would have noticed, but it bothered me. So here I'm in civil. Anyway, shut up, squirrel. <laughs> Let's see how it uh, does with the pocket test. So this pocket's a little short in this shirt. But yeah, you can see it slipped right in there with no problem. So yeah, I've actually been enjoying this pen. I uh, Will it ever be a favorite? No, but it's actually not a bad writer. So uh, I am really glad I bought it. And uh, it'll definitely be a fun, like, like I said, a backup daily writer. So anyway, I hope that was interesting. Hope it was useful. And... <laughs> We'll try to do better on the autofocus next video. So, well, thank you for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.